those are some bright lights. All right. <laughs> Okay, hey everybody. Uh, I think we're gonna get started. I know that the uh, Secretary of Education's talk just got out and we'll probably have a few people trickling in, but uh, I know that we're also on a, a timeline here. So, saving lives with artificial intelligence. We'll start by introducing myself. My name is Brandon Sang. I'm the co-founder and CFO of Shield AI, and I'm a former US Navy SEAL. So let's get into it. So, if you're here, you're probably wondering, what does saving lives with AI have to do with education? Very, very little, but not absolutely nothing. So I believe education is the answer to some of the world's most tragic problems. And where education is often needed most, it doesn't exist. And that's because fundamental, basic needs have not yet been met. So before we can provide education, we need to provide security and safety. So for the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'll be focusing on the base of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the security and safety part. And you won't hear much more on education, but I think you'll come away with an interesting perspective that you didn't have when you showed up here today. And to help understand why I'm talking about saving lives with artificial intelligence, it's helpful if I provide a little background on Shield AI. Shield AI's mission is to protect service members and innocent civilians with artificially intelligent systems. This mission was born out of my experiences in combat as a US Navy SEAL in Afghanistan. And we serve this mission for the people who put themselves in harm's way to help others, and for the innocent people who find themselves tragically impacted by the dire circumstances of conflict. After returning from my last deployment in the spring of 2015, I teamed up with my brother Ryan, an MIT grad and a serial entrepreneur, and our CTO Andrew, and founded Shield. Shield is a venture-funded company backed by Andreessen Horowitz. We are building artificially intelligent systems for the, Department of the, for the Department of Defense and the federal government. Our first product is an artificially intelligent drone designed to autonomously find people and threats in dense urban environments to include inside buildings. And what makes our drone special are that they don't require a remote pilot. Beyond drones, the same AI technologies that we're developing can be applied to a wide variety of systems to provide life-saving insights to service members. Our goal is to reduce American and civilian casualties to zero by 2030. And so here's a short video that demonstrates the capability of our artificially intelligent drones. Hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, back. See if this plays. Do I hit the play button? Will it auto play? Little technical issue. It worked this morning. <laughs> It's worth the wait. Great soundtrack, really cool technology. <laughs> Let's see if I can just... Say again? Okay. How are we doing? Okay. 
I can. Okay. Like ten more seconds. <laughs> if you just are now joining us, we're about to to play a video that uh, highlights the technology that we're developing. Any chance of it working, or we can? Okay. Oh, try it again. Woo! <laughs> I promise you it was worth the wait. Okay, so the drones you see here are flying completely autonomously. There is no pilot involved. They have no prior knowledge of their environment either. And so a user, a service member, will designate a building or structure that they want cleared and the drone flies to the building and begins exploring it. It actively avoids obstacles and is designed to find people and threats inside the structure. And so our work focuses on three core artificial intelligence technologies. Autonomous navigation, which enables machines to make intelligent decisions about where to go. These are the same technologies that you find in driverless cars. Computer vision, using neural nets to actively identify people and objects of interest so that the drone can notify users if it sees something important. And then multi-agent collaboration. Once you have a single, intelligent, robust, and reliable agent, you can scale it and send many agents to an area. So for example, right now we can clear a complex 3,000 square foot structure in just under three minutes, which is about on par with today's special operations forces. And we want to be able to send 10 drones into the same building and clear it in less than 20 seconds. Awesome, so pretty cool, isn't it? I think it is, a little biased. But, uh, so when people often see this technology, they often think of the dystopian futures depicted by Hollywood, where nefarious artificially intelligent machines take over the world and rule over humanity. They think of Terminator, Skynet, or The Matrix. And I can assure you, this will not be the case. On the contrary, we believe artificially intelligent systems will be the single greatest driver in advancing security and stability in the world. Artificially intelligent systems will save countless lives and protect millions of people. So if there's one thing I want you to remember from this talk, it's that AI is not Terminator, Skynet, or The Matrix. It's that AI is an incredibly positive and transformational force that will save lives. And to understand how artificial intelligence will save lives, it's helpful to understand the problem. And so the problem is the fog of war. 
The fog of war precludes us from understanding the battlefield, and an inability to understand the battlefield kills service members and innocent civilians. It destroys homes, businesses, and livelihoods. It creates conditions that foster hopelessness, resentment, and un unending conflict. And under the fog of war, information that is tactically relevant becomes confusing, distorted, or even unobservable. So what is the fog of war? It's harder to describe if you've never been in it, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give you three examples of what the fog of war can be to make it feel a bit more tangible. Imagine you're an elite special forces soldier and you're about to enter the target building. Inside that room are two ISIS terrorists who have barricaded themselves with innocent civilians, three women, two children, an old man. When you enter the room, you have less than a, se less than a second to distinguish friend from foe. How can you ensure that the innocent civilians won't be hurt during the gun battle that will ensue? How can you ensure that your teammates won't be hurt or killed? Another example, you're a fighter pilot. You've been tasked with a mission to target an ISIS compound and ensure zero civilian casualties. How can you ensure zero civilian casualties if you can't see who's inside the building right before you target it? And one more, you're a helicopter pilot. You've been tasked with medically evacuating critically wounded civilians after a truck carrying explosives detonated itself inside a marketplace. How can you ensure that there isn't a follow-on ambush and that your helicopter won't be targeted? How do I know that there aren't combatants carrying rocket-propelled grenades waiting for your helicopter in the marketplace? And these are not once-in-a-lifetime examples. These examples are experienced every day by service members deployed to conflict zones. And so our inability to make sense of this complex battlefield stems not from incompetence, ill intent, or wanton decision making, but an inability to collect and make sense of the necessary information. And to remove the fog of war, the solution is simple. It requires amazing technology, but it is simple. Collect the missing information and then make sense of it. And AI is very, very good at this. First, this means empowering a few, then many, artificially intelligent systems to go where no people or platforms can so safely go today to collect intelligence. Second, it means designing artificial intelligence to draw out insights from the massive amount of data collected by these systems, gathering the information. And by collecting the missing information and making sense of it, we remove the fog of war. So why now? At a rapid and accelerating rate, AI is reaching and exceeding human performance in a growing variety of tasks. Rates of advancement will not slow for many years. The implications for national security are profound, and it is critical for the United States to maintain leadership. Additionally, conflict is increasingly taking place in dense urban environments. The enemy chooses not to fight in open terrain, but instead is taking advantage of urbanization and now blends with the local population. To the enemy, urban environments are the great equalizer. And intelligent systems that are capable of operating in these environments have become increasingly important. And the US has recognized this, which is why the former Secretary of Defense identified artificially intelligent systems as the key component in the United States' third offset strategy. Now, what's an offset strategy? An offset strategy is the development of a technological capability so advanced that in and of itself protects the United States. DOD technology investment has been guided by offset strategies since the 1940s. The first offset brought nuclear weapons. The second offset brought precision guided munitions and stealth. And the third offset is squarely focused on artificial intelligence. Artificially intelligent systems generate access and provide an offset to human risk in contentious environments. And so an AI is so important because it will augment human performance in a way that will accelerate the knowledge gained from raw information, affording the most rapid and well-informed decision cycles. The speed and accuracy of knowledge reduces risk, it reduces collateral damage, and reduces casualties, and it increases probabilities of attaining desired outcomes. And speed is critically important in combat. It is often the difference between life or death. As I mentioned earlier, if I enter a target compound and there is a room full of people, I have less than a second to discern friend from foe and make a decision to engage or not to engage. My life depends on the speed at which I can make this decision. AI matters because it is fast. So I wanted to quickly talk about decision making. 
This is the OODA loop. For those who have never seen or heard it before, it is our decision making process. First we observe, then we orient, then we decide, then we act, and then we repeat the process based on what, what has just happened. It's intuitive and it probably seems a little bit obvious. It was conceived by an Air Force fighter pilot and was used to originally describe the theory of achieving success in air to air combat. It has since been applied to all aspects of military strategy. In combat and in war, whoever OODA's the fastest wins. And artificially intelligent systems accelerate the OODA loop massively. They provide key observations that allow you to orient, decide, and act much faster. Faster and more accurate knowledge affords decisive advantages in decision making at all levels of conflict management. Again, a very simple concept, but it requires pretty amazing technology. And the other reason why AI is such a big deal is because artificially intelligent systems can collect and distill large volumes of raw information into knowledge and understanding. To collect this massive amount of data, artificially intelligent systems use different sensors to perceive and understand the world around them. Cameras, lidars, radar are a system's eyes, ears, and nose. Their computers are their brains. But unlike us, they are not limited to the number of sensors or the number of brains. And they can also be connected with each other and trained to accomplish tasks together. And so the rapid drop in cost of sensors and cost of computing have allowed for the creation of cheap AI systems that work together to collect massive amounts of data on the battlefield and interpret this data. These systems analyze the data and provide an unprecedented level of situational awareness on the battlefield. So what does all of this look like? In the case of the elite special forces soldier entering the room with civilian and ISIS fighters, the artificially intelligent systems have provided the special operators with the knowledge of who's in the building, if they're a threat, where they're located, and that way they can adjust tactics accordingly. For the fighter pilot, it's verification that there aren't civilians in the building that it's about to be targeted. And for the helicopter pilot, it's confirmation that there aren't additional insurgents in the marketplace, in, in that marketplace that he's conducting medical evacuation. And so, by in, and so by ingesting vast amounts of data and rapidly transforming that data into actionable intelligence, AI will remove the fog of war and allow service members to make better, more informed decisions, decisions that save lives. <laughs>